Hi, happy 2020 and uh, this is like the first favorites video of the year. Um, I know it's been quite a few months, kind of fell off the favorites wagon, sorry. The end of 2019 was really, really packed. No excuses, but um, I've had a lot of favorites since. I've just picked up some of the top few, if not this video will be like, I think an hour long. So here we go. Okay, one of the favorites that I got for Christmas is this Mickey bottle. It is still wet because it just came out of, uh, from being washed, it's not yet dried. But it is like a thermos flask. And it's good because I bring it out when I go wakeboarding or wake surfing early in the mornings. I like to go out at like 6.30 or 7 so I catch the sunrise and also so that the sun is not so crazy hot. So a bottle like this, I usually put some sort of tea in it, um, keeps it really warm. The only thing is, I would say if you have a thermos flask, right, like, that is this efficient, it's best to let the tea cool down to 70 or 80 degrees because I pour it in boiling hot and sometimes it's so hot that I find it hard to drink when I'm on the boat, so that's another problem. The Christmas presents that I thought was really thoughtful and really cute and has definitely made it to my favourites list is this uh, cutlery set from my friend Tian. So if you can see, I don't know if you can see it, um, it actually has my name on it, the chopsticks. I'm not a huge fan of silver chopsticks, but I mean the Korean style one because they're flat and I'm not very good with chopsticks. But it's so cute because it has my name and Hello Kitty. And, uh, but the fork and spoon are really, really nice. Like it's curved and so cute, right? It has like a, like a cute happy face, like a pretty winky face. And then again, it has my name and Hello Kitty. And I'm actually pretty fussy with cutlery. Actually, I'm really fussy with a lot of things. So I don't like it when spoons are too large, right? And I don't like it when cutlery is too short. But you didn't know that. So these are perfect. That's it, chopsticks. I prefer the wooden old school kind, but it's lovely that it's a set. So because of that, I will use it and maybe I will improve on my chopstick skills as well. I received a lot of socks for Christmas and uh, actually I've been very into socks. I'm kind of glad that the sock trend is back. When I was in secondary school, I was so conscious of my skinny legs that I used to only wear, I mean I would only wear, expose my legs if I could wear like socks and usually quite thick socks and higher socks. So if you remember me from secondary school, you'll remember that there was that Japanese sock trend. But even after that went away, I used to wear like uh, like mid-calf socks that were a bit more bulky just to add bulk to that part of my leg. I know, I know, everyone has their insecurities, okay, don't judge. So I'm glad that the sock trend is back and I've been kind of embracing it in full force. Although it's no longer the super thick Japanese socks, like I think quirky socks are back. And it's more acceptable now to wear socks that are of different lengths, not that that has ever stopped me. So these are some of the socks that I got for Christmas that I'm looking forward to, wear, to wearing. Um, I think this is everyone knows. I like Hello Kitty from my cousin, and I got a whole bunch um, from some other people as well. From Hilda, she gave me these Kenzo socks. So these are really nice, as in they are a bit dressier, and I can see myself wearing this with like uh, maybe trousers, like men's style trousers, and just expose a bit of the sock. Uh, Sheila also gave me some really cute ones. This one says "Be nice." Can you try and tell me something? And then these are the rainbow ones. And there was also one with ice cream, which I really want. So yeah, so that's not here, but you can see it. Maybe I'll take a photo of it and put it up here. So socks, and this really cute bag. Um, my new thing, I have really, really a lot of different pairs. And the only problem now is storing them because my sock drawer is almost completely, actually it is completely full. I'm just like, stop it. I actually got really a lot of lovely Christmas presents this year, although, um, as I unwrap them and I'm trying to find space for my Christmas presents, I feel uh, blessed but also I feel like I have a lot of stuff. So um, my birthday is in April and I think this time around I'm gonna ask for friends and family to, if you were thinking of getting me a present, to maybe donate to a fund and we'll use that fund to uh, cater like a meal for a, a, a home, like an old folks home, or home for the needy and I think that will be nice and whoever wants to come and volunteer their time to serve the food will be nice as well. So I think that's what I will do for April. I will update this space soon. Uh, but let me share with you again, since we're on favourites, some of the other favourites that I have. This one is from the husband. So it's a new laptop bag and I 
really like it because it is it has like this quirky print and it's by Norm and Bo which is one of the brands that I spend too much money on actually both of us spend too much money on it it's a local brand um, so support local and so I like it because it kind of can hold like my laptop bag I'm the kind of person who just dumps everything in so I can this can hold like my laptop my hard drive a mouse because I can't do work without a mouse and the charger so it's the right size I think just nice to put everything in oh there are compartments too so I haven't used it yet because my laptop bag is about to die but not dying yet so I'm gonna save this and use this for Chinese New Year like kind of like a new bag new year thing so so I have a lot of new shoes that I really like um, and actually I was very excited because I, I thought I could start wearing heels again because the plantar fasciitis on my left heel has healed no pun intended but now the pain is starting on the right so I think I'm back to sneakers like purely sneakers uh, and so I picked these out from Puma um, these are like so there was this in the really there was a really pink colorway and there was this one and I spent ages in the shop deciding whether I should get the pink one or this one even asked the shop assistant and she also said this one so this is really cute is this RS running system it's not really a running shoe um, but it's like one of those chunky colorful looks that I think will work well with some of my quirky socks um, uh, yeah, so I mean, I'm, I really prefer, much prefer chunkier sneakers to really sleek ones. I just feel like it gives my legs better proportion somehow. So if you want a video on, you know, if you want a video on how to style chunky sneakers or on how to style socks because they're really in right now, let me know in the comment box down below. I'm thinking of making a video like that. So if, if enough of you want to see that, I will do it. So these are, yeah, my current favorite sneakers. So I'm taking a diploma in positive psychology now because I'm thinking of actually doing a master's in positive psychology this year so I thought this, that would be a good way to kind of get my feet wet since my degree is in business, nothing to do with psychology even though I did take a social psych module when I was in SMU um, So one of the things that we did for one of the modules in positive psych was um, this is known as like a best life visualization so the exercise is you're kind of supposed to visualize your best life and then put together visuals that you think represent that. So I can talk a bit more about that in a separate video. It's one of the positive psychology interventions which is, which is like a thing that you do to inject more positive emotion into your life. So this is kind of like my best life and I like that it's a good reminder to remind myself to be a bit crazy, remember to work out. I like beautiful things like flowers and I like um, stuff twice and cozy things and I also like spending time with people that I love so this is my idea of my best life I will do a separate video of my best life um, just so you can share that with you and maybe you can think about working on your best life as well okay so those are my favorites for the month of <laughs> I can't even say December I would say for the last few years last few months of the year okay honestly it's, it's my December favorites um, but it's also because I've been very behind on this list so I will try to be more um, I'll try to be a lot better with updating my favorites in 2020 let me know if you've had any favorites drop them in the comment box down below otherwise I'll catch up with you on Facebook and on Instagram Bye.